Boy. Whiskey is wicked. Whiskey is wicked. I think uh, Jedi need to be given an award for tolerating this kind of nonsense. Whiskey is wicked. Well, I don't think it's normal. It's not normal. It's not normal at all. Jada posted a video, uh, sorry, a, a picture on our Instagram story of ourselves and Whiskey. That's a picture. Whiskey, of course, he, he was tagged on the on the picture. Whiskey took the picture, crop out Jada's face, and posted it on his Instagram wall, Instagram story. Ah, what source of turn off is that? What source of turn off is that? Whiskey is wicked. It's wicked because he just made Jada look like a fool. Yes. If Whiskey is trying to give an explanation now as, as I am making this video, or Jada saw this video, my girl, Jada, Whiskey made you look like a fool. That is what the general public thinks. So no allow Whiskey to whine you. No allow the guy to whine you. That's what we think. We think that you they push you Whiskey. How? It's just like you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, for instance, taking a picture, and uh, you as the girl posting the picture. Your man won't come post that the same picture. If they cut your face, come out. How you go feel for the matter? How you go feel? Eh? Whiskey, wicked. That is pure wickedness. So let me read you some few comments. <laughs> Someone said, he is not proud of Jada. Ah, oh, God. God. Oh. Someone said, Whiskey is not proud of Jada. Someone said, Whiskey, he raised her. Child. You know, maybe Jada, my heart will skip. Oh. My heart will skip. But they are both staying in the same house, though. Jada, uh, Whiskey did a lot for her when the uh, last few weeks when Jada celebrated her birthday. And uh, Jada was there for Whiskey. In fact, they took a picture together as family. Whiskey posted that, okay, okay. I think before we start uh, blasting whiskey, I think we should check uh, whiskey wall, you know, because we whiskey has posted Jada several times. And you know, whiskey is already uh, posting, uh, whiskey doesn't post any other kids apart from Jada's kids. So, you know, uh, before you start saying whiskey is this, whiskey is that, whiskey has honored this woman severally. You understand? Let us let us get that straight. Whiskey don't honor this woman severally, but whiskey no supposed post that uh, picture. He no supposed crop out Jada's face. You know, he can do that to someone else, or he can just decide to post another picture, just himself alone. Ah, I know. See that picture? Cut the face. Come out. Abba. That is purposely. You purposely cut that face off. What are you trying to... What impression are you trying to give this kid? Hmm? You make that woman look like a fool. I be, honestly, that, that's just what we think over here. The viewers think that Jada is forcing herself on this kid. The viewer thinks 
that whiskey do not rate Jada. The viewer thinks whiskey is not proud of Jada. That's not me, but the comment so far. The viewer thinks whiskey is not proud of Jada. Ah, whiskey, ah, wow, he cut the face, come out. <laughs> whiskey, bachala. Ah, oh, God, tell me, this guy is a fool. A big man. You understand? Chai, well, Jada is not going anywhere. You should not like me when I talk, say, uh, Jada, yeah, if you do this, do that. Your people are advising Jada to to uh, dump uh, whiskey. Yeah, Jada won't dump whiskey, go. Yeah. Yeah, Jada won't dump whiskey, go. Yeah. Ah. In fact, uh, I thought uh, whiskey posted uh, posted Jada. Okay, whiskey don't come out the whiskey don't quickly come out the the picture for me. So what do I just check it now? And then whiskey just remove the picture. <laughs> they don't blast that Jada. Don't say how could you do this to me? What the hell? Whiskey don't run, come on the the uh, the picture <laughs> from this one. I just check it now. I just check his Instagram page. Whiskey don't come out that because no girl will take that nonsense. Let's be honest. If you toss it, Jada quiet. No girl will take that rubbish. Ah, you no read the girl at all. You no read the girl at all. Ah, Jada no go happy for that matter. Child, Jada did legal sins. Jada's like the wife, though. Ah. But Whiskey made a mistake. That mistake. Because Whiskey reads Jada. Let's be honest. Whiskey reads Jada. That's why I carry Jada. Jada, they live like all husband and wife. So Whiskey actually read her. Let's be honest. Whiskey reads Jada. So let's forget that crap. Let's forget that kind of talk. See? Whiskey don't rate uh, Jada. Whiskey rate Jada well. They rate them. If not, ah uh, wow, that's crazy though. But if you understand what women are doing to men lately, like if you check the trend on Twitter, you see a maker again. The popular Nollywood entertainer, a maker again himself. The lover boy of that year, a maker again himself with BB in English, a maker again himself. You know, he left the limelight, the, the, he left fame behind to become a, uh, a, a husband and to become a father. But unfortunately, that didn't go well with him at all. According to the interview he did recently with China TV, he narrated how he lost 80% of his property of his investment because of his ex-wife, how his ex-wife manipulated him, took the kiss away from him, did a lot of things and did a lot of things. But one of the questions that was pointed to Emeka Ike was that, what did you do that made this woman do all those things to you? People ask you that question and they need to think. They need to think. Just imagine acquiring so much money and the only thing, the only payback again, a woman wants to pay you back is to take all your properties. How will you feel? And the same maker again that in this interview said that he never, he never one day raised hand on his wife. So you guys are still asking what did the maker again do? What did he do to make his wife did all those things he said? Is it proper for a wife to scam a husband? Is it proper for a wife? to take everything that belongs to our husband. Is it proper? People are asking that question. All those social media guys, the more that they take me to, don't be, don't be a coward. All those girls commenting on those pages, eh, irrelevant comments, and later you toss you want to toast at that kind of girl, you want to go marry her. You can easily know a girl by looking at his social media comments. I'm telling you, 
You can easily know a girl the way a girl thinks by looking at her social media comments, by looking at the kind of people she follows and the kind of people she follow, she, she support on social media. It's not hard again to start knowing girls. Just check out their page and check out their comments and how they, re, they react on some major things in the world. Then you will know exactly who they are. If not gave me, you go stay with you. If not gave me, you go put it with you. Or if not gave me, you go run. No, no go join yourself. Hmm? No go join yourself. Be wise. You make her get her first hand. In fact, I think we should listen to like three minutes of his uh, testimony. I don't want to play all because uh, the video belongs to China's TV. But I think we should listen to like three minutes of Emeka Ike testimony. You can watch the full video on China's TV. We couldn't do what we want, needed to or what we love doing anymore. Then two, Emeka Ike was depressed for a long time out of some marital whatever. And I was hiding. I was in shame for what I didn't do. You know, so that's, that's sometimes the price you pay for being large. You know, so I was depressed. I was short-circuited. For no reason, and um, I had to just hide my face until I know what was wrong with me. Mm. I, I could tell you at a point I went to kill your Ebuka. <laughs> I was looking for Ebuka. I thought I was going to, I was going to see him in this show. I was like, Ebuka, I would have killed you for nothing. But Shagun Harizi came here and they called me a madman. Mm. Now, I was really angry and bitter that how could you just use such a word on air without coming to know who I am? I was, after Shagwan Rize, there was so much war in the Actors Guild of Nigeria. I was a de facto president. I was fighting for the people. They called me the people's president. And I was fighting against some, you know, some institutions, some men that are there, you know, the, 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 the oligarchs. Then somebody in between sneaked in to take my life. Hmm. So there were assassins everywhere for me. I was facing gunmen everywhere. It's in the news. Go to the press. Assassins came to my house on the road. They just want to take my life. It wasn't Shagun It wasn't Ejika It wasn't even Abo. In fact, I lost my mother last month. Oh, my God. No, October, right? Said Yes, and I'll be burying her very soon. Uh, Ibn Abo called me, and she'll be coming for my mother's burial. But that year, I was like, oh, Ibn Abo, you want to kill me? You know, stuff. But the guy that was, the woman that was behind was somewhere quiet and you know so we celebrities are exposed to so many so much dangers than we know and Bonaboy said it the last last everybody will chop breakfast so all of us they chop the breakfast wow um honestly i i genuinely feel your pain i i'm sure it's nothing compared to what you really went through but in just few minutes you've told me that you went through depression well, guys, listening and listening well. Mm -hmm. You know, we go on social media, we check other people's story, and sometimes we just can see our cross maybe. Apart from having fun, apart from seeing them as cruise, my brothers and sisters, making our guests inside to 